I didn't paint my nails, so they don't look good. Let me come back. Let's do this again. Hello guys, welcome. And to all my um, ring friends there, my ring ladies, welcome back. I hope you enjoy this video. It's gonna be still another Julia ring. I know it seems like I'm reviewing a lot of Julia rings, but yeah, I am. The last ring that I reviewed was sent to me with this one, but I didn't want to review both rings in one video because I, I feel like it would be unfair for the other one. Synthetic Morganite Sterling Silver Ring. $135, 0.79 carat for their round center stone and this is a 925 silver, rhodium plated, there's 33 small stones around it. The hardness of Morganite is 7.5, uh, Diamond is 10 in hardness, which is the hardest of all stones. Moissanite is 9.5, uh, Cubic Zirconia is 8 to 8.5, so according to my research, uh, Cubic Zirconia is harder stone compared to um, the Morganite. When I first saw this and it said synthetic, I was like, ooh, synthetic. I went ahead and did a research and according to what I saw, natural morganites are not as sparkly as the lab created morganites, although they have the same um, composition, physical and chemical. This time around I'm going to skip the <laughs> packaging and the shipping and all that stuff and refer you to those old videos if you have not seen them. So this is how the rings look together like that. I really love that detail. As you can see it's pink and it sparkles some. Not as sparkly as the normal Julia stones. I love this angle. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, so let me put it on. That's how it looks on my finger. It is beautiful looking. Even on its own. Like, y you probably have seen this in my um, vlogs. Because I've been wearing it in my right hand here because I was testing the other one in this hand, so I was wearing this in this hand. It looks more of a pale pink than a salmon pink. The bottom. Um, already the, the rhodium plating has faded off, but it's not too bad because it doesn't really fade up here. Let's show you the wedding ring. It's a shadow style. I think that's what they call it. So that's how the, the band looks on its own. And um, nothing special about it. Um, half eternity with that with that curve over there. So it hugs the engagement ring. Pretty. It's very. It's a very pretty pink stone. Um, it stands out. Like it's not. I guess it's not very common. I, I don't think a lot of people are wearing. Um, engagement rings that are Morganites in normal life. I think a lot of YouTubers are, but in normal life I, I don't think it's that widely used yet. It's pretty, but um, like I said, it does not sparkle like the Julia Stone, the normal Julia Stone, but that's normal for Morganites, so I'm not, not really worried about that. I love the ring. The ring. <laughs> not the rings. I do not love this. Gives me an impression that this was an afterthought. Like this was made and they're like, oh, let's make it into a wedding um, or a bridal set and let's put it with this one. I feel like it doesn't match the the beauty and the intricacy of this design. <laughs> My voice cracked there. I was very passionate about that. <laughs> yeah. 
in all seriousness. Um, I would want something that looks a little bit more, I don't know, flowery looking maybe to go with this instead of just like a normal pave design. But I have a solution for that actually. Okay, recording stopped. <laughs> I thought my card was full. <laughs> oh my god, did I talk that much again? Been wearing it like this with this, right? This was with the vintage knot um, set. So I've been wearing it with this one. I think this one fits this better. Like to me, this looks like they belong together, kind of, because of the, the band uh, both being plain over here. You know what I mean? Like, to me, it's it just looks like these were, these are, uh, perfect for each other compared to this one. Like, uh, let me just try it. That's just preference. So, uh, to me, I I really love this this look of it together, like that. Right? It's pretty. It's very pretty because that's part of my wear test that I wear in the shower for however long it would take me to. Uh, where test it is that outdoor dining uh, were dining outside and so I would notice that my ring is really cloudy and it looks kind of uh, like it is very durable and it is well made and it has stood the wear test no stones have fallen and everything I I think if you don't like cleaning and you don't have um, maybe a sonic uh, ring cleaner or jewelry cleaner maybe you should avoid wearing it um, in the shower um, it's fine to me it's fine wearing it while doing dishes and all that other stuff but when I showered that's when um, several times I had to take it off like do you see that it, it is a pain in the neck to get under there I use toothbrush and dish detergent to clean my my rings and so far after I scrub them and and all that they are sparkly back again to normal but um, also I would strongly advise against using toothpaste toothpaste is abrasive and it can definitely scratch I would rate this at four out of five again <laughs> four out of five not perfect at all um, I understand that the nature of the stone is that it doesn't sparkle as much as you know diamond what I don't like really is just how the color of this gemstone really shows how foggy it can get and how um, how much fingerprints your stones can accumulate during the day so I that part I really don't like and also I don't like the style of the wedding band so and that's purely preference really it has nothing to do with the quality it's just preference so I would recommend that if you do like this ring if your budget allows um, to get a different wedding ring um, I I'm sure they sell other different rings that you can choose from just different wedding band that has the shadow style and that would be thin and has that um, plain shank so that you don't have this I mean if you like this then go for it do you get green skin no no green skin it's not itchy and no stones have fallen that's the usual Julia quality that I rave about and what I really like about Julia is even though they send me these rings to review there is no rule that they set like if a company contacts me for a review I usually would say okay I am I will review the rings only my only condition is that I am allowed to say whatever I want I can't lie for you because my uh, my integrity is very important to me so if your rings are good they should speak for themselves and also um, know that I will wear test them and if you don't agree to that then we we can't work together Mary would send me um, an email and she would say are you ready for another um, ring review and I would say sure and then she sends me the package and she wouldn't tell me 
do this, do this, do this, we want this or that. It's, you, you got the rings, you review it. Tell your honest opinions. And that's what I appreciate about Julia. They've never told me to change anything that I've said about any, any of their products. To those of you who have been watching and following my videos on my Julia rings and using and buying Julia uh, jewelry using my codes and my referral links, thank you so much for everything. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really mean it. Um, you helped me a lot. You using my, my, my links and my codes really helped me so that I can um, buy things to better my the quality of my videos and all that so thank you so much <laughs> I I think I have discussed everything that I wanted to um, say in this video thank you so much Julia and thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you uh, subscribe if you haven't yet <laughs> um, I do I do vlogs and ring reviews and all other, you know, things, random things, really, that I can talk about my channel. So thank you so much again. I'll see you in my next video, guys.